Hey guys, it's spooky season time, and you know what? It doesn't have to be scary. I'm a self-confessed scaredy cat, and I do not do well with scary movies and anything of the sort. So I've decided to go with a deliberate cute bias for my first Halloween video of 2024. With that said, I guess let's get into it. I'll be mostly using fluffy yarn today and I'm making mini plushies. So you can obviously use acrylic yarn if that's what you'd prefer. But the main colors will be this orangey yellow, a mint green, white, and this darker green. I haven't mentioned every material I will be using because most of the time I start a project and then I tend to change my mind at random places during the process. So if there is anything else I've omitted here, I will of course list it all in the description box below. Oh, right. I forgot to mention, I will also be using these wind up toy things to give some movement. <laughs> oh, you're interested now, aren't you? <laughs> So to get started with the ghost, I crocheted a circle. I will begin most of these with the circle, but I will show you that as time goes on. What I'm going for here is a half dome. When I got to the right size, I then just carried on to turn the shape into a tube. After a few rows, I crocheted the arms and you can crochet the arms separately and sew them on, but I like to crochet everything in one piece if I can. Also, these are really, really small, so the little things don't really need to be that detailed. Nothing to do with... <laughs> just has nothing to do with how I feel about sewing. <laughs> but we'll gloss over that. After a few more rows, I then wrap up the ghost body by adding a frilly edge to the last round. That's it. That's the bulk of the ghost done. All that's left to do now is to add the safety eyes, embroider on the mouth and pink highlights for the cheeks. Uh, I mean, can ghosts have blush? Well, yes, mine can and they will because they're cute. They're chibi. They're chibi ween. <laughs> that's what I'm calling these little guys. It's my chibi ween party. Next in the Chibiween squad is the witch and I started that in a similar fashion of the ghost obviously, beginning with a circle in the mint green and then carrying on until it's nearly a ball. Obviously I didn't want to close it completely because that's where the little mechanism is going to go. Once I had my rough ball shape, I switched to the black yarn to get the dress started. I added a few frills at the bottom of this dress by doing some scalloped edge-ish type duplicate, it's not really a scalloped edge, and then lightly stuffed the head. I then switched to the double knit acrylic yarn to crochet a simple wig for her. I gave her a simple bob to frame her face. Witches need good hair care too. <laughs> I don't buy this straggly hair. No, I don't buy it. Anyway, I also crocheted a simple pointed hat to add as decoration and then added the safety eyes, mouth and cheeks. As you can see here, I just went full on with the green. Green hair, green lips. I mean, loving it. She's so cute. Ah, oh, she's so cute. Look at her little cheeks. Now for Frankenstein's monster. I started with, you guessed it, a circle. <laughs> uh, I've skipped past the start for this one. So here is where I switched colors. I switched to the mint green and carried on crocheting without any increases or decreases because I wanted the tubular look. He's kind of got a square head, hasn't he, really, essentially, or rectangular head. 
Towards the end, I switched to the black yarn again to crochet the top of his suit or shirt thing. Anyway, it's meant to just represent that. After a few more rows, I wove in the tail and stuffed the head lightly. Using some acrylic yarn, I embroidered some scars and just elongated some of the hairlines in places to make them just a little bit longer. Finally, I added some safety eyes, a mouth and cheeks, and the bolts on the side of his neck. I know you don't see the bolts here, but you will see them in the end. I completely forgot to press record when I was filming the bolts. I also made a pumpkin and this one is the only one that really differs since it's done in rows. I've actually covered how to do these pumpkins in depth before and I shall link that video in the iCard above and the description box below so please go ahead and see that video if you want a more detailed explanation. In any case, once done, I sewed the top of the bumpkin shut and then lightly stuffed it. I then crocheted another circle in the green yarn and added a stalk to it. I attached a stalk to the top of the pumpkin and finished off by gathering the bottom of the pumpkin until only a small hole was left. That's a cute pumpkin! So, while I get these little guys onto their wind up feet, I'd just like to say a thank you for watching and of course if you'd like to see more then please like, share, comment and even consider subscribing. If you are feeling generous, then also please consider buying me a cup of coffee on Ko-fi. The link to my Ko-fi page will be included in the description box below. And any and all donations will be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to hit that bell button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And with that said, <laughs> here comes the Chibi Ween Squad. No tricks, all treat. Enjoy the beauty shots and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.